Angie Horkin is here from the Wisconsin Beef Council with a lot of corned beef recipes going on here. Right. I thought it's always a good thing to have a refresher yeah. in corned yeah. beef because a lot of people only make it at home one time Once a year. year. Yeah. In March. The, the hash is a good diner food. Like <laughs> if you're is. going out for breakfast food, it is. If you can definitely. find a good place to get it. There are so many um, different kind of recipes. Like we have a great Pinterest board I wanted to mention. We've got nice. 110 different recipes and ideas. Not all beef council recipes, but about 101 ways you can do like Reuben <laughs> flavored foods. Yeah. So we put them all together on Pinterest on our Wisconsin Beef Council St. Patty's Day board. Um, but you know, corned beef, mm -hmm. you can cook it three ways because it needs to be tenderized. So the slow cooker is perfect. Mm -hmm. So if you want to run it all day um, on the stove top in a stock pan or stock pot and you want to simmer it, but it'll take two and a half to three hours. Wow. So like this um, corned beef, I like buying the flat cuts. There's two different kinds, a flat or a point. Yeah. I like buying these because they're a little bit meatier. My family really likes corned beef and we like leftovers to mm -hmm. make some of the other dishes. So I look for the flat cut in the supermarket. Um, but yeah, it's gonna take two and a half to three hours for um, your three pound corned beef, which is typically what they with the size they come in the supermarket. It feels like you've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner all represented. <laughs> I kind of do. And then the third way to do the, the corned beef yeah. brisket is in the oven. Okay. So you can use um, an oven-proof stock pot or just your roasting pan that mm -hmm. you do your turkey in and put it in there just with water. You can add beer. We have um, recipes with Guinness to add some more flavor. Nice. But just add the water. That's and then the seasoning packet that comes with the brisket, put that in, cover it tightly, and simmer it. So two and a half to three hours. Once okay. it's cooked then. Once it's Cook then, right? We've got I've got a corned beef hash, simply just potatoes, some leeks, so something a little different than mm. onions, and then your um, leftover planned over corned beef if you have <laughs> extras or save extras, and then some just um, simple sunny side up eggs on top, mm -hmm. so perfect for the next day, or pinwheels, uh, Reuben flavored pinwheels, nice. so just another take on the Reuben. So that was an island dressing, a little bit of sauerkraut. Now I use deli corned beef in these. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then uh, made them ahead, and then you can roll them in plastic wrap and put them in the refrigerator. And then um, the corned beef that recipe that I have today is called a pepper apricot glazed. So I made the corned beef. I actually did it in the stock pot, so mm -hmm. about two and a half hours. And you'll know it's ready when it's. They say it's fork tender. So if you take a meat fork or a larger fork and you stick it in your corned beef, and if it comes out with a little resistance. It's ready. <laughs> Very scientific. Very scientific. Very scientific. But then it's ready. So then I just did um, apricot preserves, a little cracked black pepper, garlic, and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Mix that up, put it over the top, and then you can broil it two minutes and make a nice glaze for a little extra flavor. Of course, you don't have to um, do your cabbage, do your potatoes, your carrots yeah. on the side, your celery, and you're ready for St. Patty's Day. <laughs> this and all the recipes at beeftips.com as well as on your Pinterest page? Right, yeah, beeftips.com. Right. Click on As Seen on TV. You'll find all of this cool. information, these recipes, and then our Pinterest page. We called it St. Patty's Day Recipes, and we've got a lot of great other ideas there, so mm -hmm. check that out. Not just for one day in the year. No. There you go. Good right. to see you, Ange. Thanks. You too. Yeah, Have a great March. It. Oh, you, you well. too.